Hello and welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can install Lightscribe on your Windows 10 PC. It will also work on Windows 7, so whatever you use in there. Open up your internet browser. Uh, I'm using here Microsoft Edge just for this tutorial, <laughs> not using this as an everyday browser. Uh, type in doxicnerd.com and you have to find a block there uh, which is Lightscribe still available for Windows 10 and how to install. There you go. Uh, click on it. I'm going to leave, by the way, I'm going to leave links in the description anyway, so it's going to be easier for you. You see two download buttons there. You will have to download one and then another one. Download one, install it, then go back, download another one and install it. Files are stored in Google Drive, so should be safe enough. I use them myself many times, so there's no issues with them. No viruses, no... Well, they're clean anyway, so it's going to take a few minutes. It's not the fastest now, I have to say. Just I didn't have anywhere else to store these files, so that's the best I could come up for, for this anyway. Okay, first one is downloaded. Now go to your downloads folder or wherever you keep in your downloads. And from here on, it's pretty straightforward. Just click on, double click on it. And next, of course, and accept the terms. And next again, and install. There we go, that's done. Uh, now go back and second one, download that. It's going to be same again. It's going to take a few minutes. Well, maybe not that long now. It's going to take about 30 seconds probably to get to the actual download. So just take your time. You have to wait for a little while. Uh, okay, that was a bit faster. So same thing again. Go back to your downloads. And double click on it. And run, of course. And you're going to go through the same stuff again now. Next, and accept the terms again here, and next again, and install. And in very few seconds now, you should have your Lightscribe up and running on your PC. There we go, it's on my desktop now, the shortcut is, so double click on it again, and there we go. Once you have your actual hardware installed as well should be no issues to make your dvds now with nice little pictures so thanks for watching hopefully it was helpful and you know what have a good life bye bye